Canva just dropped its biggest updates yet and these features will change the way you create forever. I'm so excited and I couldn't wait to tell you all about it because these are so good. We have updates we've all been waiting for and we can now design better, quicker and do things we couldn't really dream of before without a steep learning curve. Now I've saved my absolute favorite one to last so make sure to stay till the very end because it's so so juicy. I'm Natalia and I hope you create better content and grow on social media so let me break these down for you. We're starting with designable images and the name may not tell you much, but it's a very useful feature to take your photos to the next level. Now, mind you, some of you may have already seen this update in your account since the features are always slowly rolled out to a portion of users before the event, but I'm still going to talk about them anyway since you need to know all about this. Now, when you click on an image and then go to edit here at the top, you'll see this area selection. You can choose a click, you can brush, you can go to foreground or background or even select text if it's even there. Now from here, not only can you just go ahead and click on something and adjust this specific area, um, you can adjust the warmth, increase the contrast or the saturation, basically make the images much, much better. But you can also use any of the relevant Magic Studio features. For example, I can easily grab the YouTube plaque from the background and then make it disappear with magic eraser. It's very cool and I feel like it streamlines the whole process. Now the next one is super simple but it's actually so impressive. It can help you stay on brand and tie your design together with your photos no matter what they look like in the original. To do this again add any photo to your design and select it and you'll see this color tab appear at the top. Of course we know it so well from some of our vector elements but now we can change the color of an image of a photo, which is super, super cool. I can just click here. It identified the light behind me and here, and I can choose a different color completely or choose something from the panel like this just to match the vibe of my branding. Now, Canva has been all about background removing for the longest time, and it's time to look at the backgrounds in a different light. We can now generate completely new backgrounds for our photos, which gives us a whole new level of customization. Let me show you how. Once you select an image and go to edit at the top again, you see this new background generator feature under the Magic Studio. Now with a quick prompt from here, you can describe what you want. I'll say flowery meadow and I can hit generate for some new backgrounds for my photo in here. I think it looks pretty cool. We've got some really great effects, but now the cherry on top in here is this little sun icon, which can be very easily missed, but this allows you to adapt the lighting so that it all looks more seamless. You can choose none, balanced relight for a subtle adjustment or maximum relight to fully adapt to the scene. And I love how it looks and just think of all the different possibilities in here. Now we've talked a lot about photo editing, but there's one thing I I have to mention as well and is that we can now access the canva photo editor from the home page itself all you need to do is to click this icon right here and you have access to the amazing new editing features we know some of them very very well but there are also the auto select and the background generator features but you have to know that this panel also hides another brand new feature, which is called perspective correction. Now let's click on it and choose one of my uploaded photos. So choose this one again, and you'll see that from here you can crop as usual, but there's also the option to adjust the vertical and horizontal perspective. So think of how easy it would be to, you know, fix any of the skewed horizons from your photos or any unnatural perspective. So this is very cool. We also have three new additions to the Canva library with Death to Stock with Bold Dynamic Photo Collection, Alami for authentic diverse photos, and Aflow Images with Japanese themed lifestyle photos. I always say that the more choice we have with our assets, the more original our designs can be, so I'm glad we have more access in the library. To see any of the new collections, just go to the Elements tab and then to the search bar, and then from here you can type any of these keywords to find the creator under the tab. From here, I can just go and Aflo images, for example, are here so you can find all the amazing photos. And of course, you can search further 
through them. Okay, this is a big one and makes Canva an even more well-rounded, all-in-one platform. Canva introduced sheets to their ecosystem, which alongside docs, websites, presentations, videos, graphics, the photo editor, makes it a pretty powerful tool for everyday users and businesses. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even think that this would be something that Canva develops for us, but wow, I'm so impressed. To access it, go to the homepage and click Sheets here. This opens up a new worksheet and you can either upload your existing worksheet from anywhere else and then drag and drop it in here. You can use any of the brand new sheet templates or it can start completely from scratch of course. It comes with formulas so you can perform your classic functions like adding numbers with some, you can find averages, you get the drill and just think of the possibilities it gives us. It's absolutely crazy. I feel like I'd have to create a whole new video to dive deep just into sheets and tell you how much you can actually get with this new feature. So drop me a comment below if you'd like to see a tutorial like this. Before now you have to know that it's not just the sheets that we're getting. Just like with any other type in Canva, it's packed with AI to give us even more things. Like we have magic formulas in here to generate formulas from just a description. We have magic charts to visualize our data. We have magic insights just to give us some interesting key points that may not be visible at a glance. And generally, I'm stunned at this. All right, but let's keep going. Something I'm also so happy about is that we now have kerning and ligatures plus subscript and superscript available in Canva. Let me show you what these are exactly. Now, all of them are text features. And if you want to access them, you need to select your text and then go to this icon here at the top. And this will give you this new advanced formatting icon. Now, the first section in here is our subscript and superscript section. Now, sometimes we have to get a character or a symbol to be raised above the normal um, line of text. Like for example, for adding footnotes or annotations or in math, in here, you have to square a number, for example. I added two just to marketing, so I can just show this to you. And I can just, again, select the two, go to advanced formatting again, and just by clicking superscript in here, it just creates it for me. Now it's very useful because we no longer have to create a separate text box with just a number and make it smaller to achieve it. Now, if I wanted for this to be below, I can do the exact same thing, but choose subscript like this and it's sorted for me. Next, we have the typography section in here with kerning and ligatures. Now, kerning is adjusting the spacing between individual characters of the text to make it look a little bit more balanced and much easier to read. Take a look in here at the space between R and A in strategy or R and E in presentations. Now, the gaps in here are a little too big and a little too unnatural, especially when you compare to the other spaces between characters. Again, before you'd have to separate them into new text boxes and just nudge them closer. But now all you need to do is to turn on kerning. So again, I'll select it, go to advanced formatting and go for kerning. And you can see that it just automatically balanced it all out for you. Now, would I love to be able to manually adjust it myself? Yes, but I feel like this is a really great midway feature and I'm really happy that this is finally here. Okay, we're switching up to video features now and there's so much cool stuff here as well. First, we have AI voice, which lets us generate voiceover from text and choose from a few different voices. Now, there are two ways to access it. One is from the magic right feature. For this, you need a text box like this one, and then you click the magic right icon in here, and then you'll see generate AI voice here at the bottom. Now, another great way is to just go to the elements tab, go down to audio and open up this section, and then you'll see this panel to add AI voice. Once you click on it, you'll be able to type your text. I'll say, Come with me to Los Angeles for Canva Great 2025 and let's discover some of the exciting new updates that just dropped. From here, you can preview what they sound like for Dave, Henry, Joe, and Steph for English in the United Kingdom. I'd say for British English, they sound awfully posh. Come with me to Los Angeles for Canva Create 2025 and let's discover some of the exciting new updates. Come with me to Los Angeles for Canva Create 2025 
and let's discover some of the exciting new update. Now, you can choose any of the other languages. It works for so many, but I can try the American English for now. And we've got Carol, Lisa, Ralph and Richard. Come with me to Los Angeles for Canva Create 2025 and let's discover some of the exciting new update. Come with me to Los Angeles for Canva Create 2025 and let's discover some of the exciting new update. Now, once you're happy, you can just hit Generate AI Voice here at the very bottom and it will process it and then add it to the timeline as a new audio track track it's as simple as that. If we're going the more authentic route and using our own voice, Canva made it so much easier for us too. We can now easily record a voiceover from within Canva, which makes creating mini vlogs, educational stuff, and other reels super simple. Unfortunately, I don't see this in my account just yet, but I'm super excited for this feature, so I just had to mention it. Now, I've been waiting for this Canva update for quite some time, and it's finally here. We can now create karaoke-style captions for our content in Canva, completely for free. All you have to do is to go to text and generate your captions from here just by hitting this and hitting generate captions. And then you need to select your text and go to animate here at the top. And from here, you, you can see three completely new caption animations to make them even more engaging. We have reveal, highlight, and snake. Now for highlight, for any other of those, these are very highly customizable. So again, you can choose any of the blanket colors. You can choose colors from the wheel in here. And this is how easy it is to customize it. Here's a big one. They've brought something game changing to Canva. Now, remember when I said features that you couldn't really dream of before without a steep learning curve. Yep, here's where Canva AI comes in. We now can create a design, an image, a document or code. Yes, we can code with a simple prompt. To use it, you have to go to the homepage again and then choose Canva AI from this side panel in here. Now, from here, you see this prompt box, which looks very, very similar to other AI tools that you may have used before, like ChatGPT or Perplexity. But this one comes with four new generation types. So we have design for me, create an image, draft a doc and code for me. You can use the microphone to say your prompt directly to it, or you can write it out in here and select what you want to do. And then you'll have all the different customization options. Let's start with design. From here, you can choose a format. So you can go for social media in here and then a post with a specific format from here. And let's say I want a promotional post for my new YouTube tutorial on the camera. Canva Create updates. Let's hit submit. It will think for a moment, of course, and then serve you with some options we can which you can then customize further. Now, once you're happy with the choice, you can always work with it further within the design. You can prompt it to change things, or you can go to use it in the Canva editor. And again, just edit it like you would with any other design. With image, it's very similar to what we have with Dream Labs. You can prompt prompted to do something, you can apply a specific style and then choose an aspect ratio that you like. I'll go for this and hit generate. Look, this is absolutely incredible. Just what I was looking for. But of course, from here, you can copy the image or you can keep tweaking to find what you're looking for. Then we have docs. You can choose the type of a document you want from here. So I want to say blog post and then you can prompt it to do something. So I'll write a blog post on the top Canva AI photo editing features. Let's generate and just look at this. It literally gave me a whole formatted document with a banner, with sections. And again, I can prompt it further to tweak it or I can make it even better and take it straight to the Canva editor and take it from there. And the last one, probably the most mind blowing one is the ability to code. Now we can see from all the different ideas in here below that you can use. And I really encourage you to try to play around with this, these different ideas to get some really cool inspiration. I was able to get some really great results. So let's grab this first idea. It gives you a very detailed prompt to create a pricing calculator, then just hit submit. 
And as you can see, it starts writing the code for you. Of course, as with any coding, it does take some time. So we have to be very patient in here, but it doesn't take too long. And just look at this, a completely functional uh, calculator to allow your clients to calculate the pricing, which would cut some so much of this initial inquiry stage. Uh, you can play around with it, of course. You can, again, keep tweaking from here, give Canva AI much more details, and then you can, of course, use it in a design in a Canva website, for example. So this is super cool. Again, this is a very, very brief demo of this feature. I'm sure you can appreciate that this feature alone could be a whole hour long video. So again, drop me a comment if you'd like to see a tutorial like this. And now for my absolute favorite new Canva update, we can finally create all types of designs under one project. Yes, you heard me right. We can now have a whole campaign in one design with all the different types of format that Canva offers. So we can create an Instagram post, then a story, a reel, a Facebook post, but let's go further. It's possible to add presentations and docs and sheets and anything you'd like all under one design. I can't believe it's here. I feel like I've been waiting for so long for it and I couldn't be happier that it's here. Let me show you. Now, you might have already noticed that I've been using this feature already for this particular demo, but there is a great example that I've got for you. I have a Facebook ad template created by my fellow Canva Verified expert, my social designer, shout out to Roger. Uh, but we're not stopping here, of course, on this ad. We want to create an Instagram post now. All I have to do is to click this arrow right here and it allows me to choose from all the different design formats in here. So let's go for social media. And from here, we've got Instagram post. Of course, you can choose the search bar, but all I need to do is to just click and it adds this new page size. You can seamlessly just click between them they're all within one design. But what's even cooler about it is that we can use what we've already created and use magic resize to transform it. Just click the three dots in here, then go to resize page, and then you can choose the Instagram post again. And voila, we have this right here. All we have to do is to tweak a little bit further. I've created something like this. And again, you can easily keep going, create a whole campaign like this for all the different platforms and even your presentation decks, um, whiteboards, strategy calls, important docs, and now even sheets with data. I'm not going to lie. I'm mad impressed by Canva. This is just the highlight of more features. And I hope that you can see how many new opportunities just opened up for us with these alone. Drop me a comment to let me know which one is your your favorite and which one of these you'd like me to do a deep dive on in the upcoming videos. Grab the free trial from the description below to try out any pro features for free since I feel like it's the perfect time to do it and watch this video next to discover the best Canva AI photo editing tools. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.